Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about one of the main gameplay loops that is currently in Star Citizen, Delivery Missions. So 3.10 completely replaced all of the old missions on both the illegal and legal sides, and that's what I'm going to be taking a look at in this video. So in 3.10, there's really only one type of delivery mission for each side of the law, whereas before you had some variety in the distance you wanted to travel for your deliveries. I'm going to be playing an example of each in the background of this video, but just so you have some sort of reference for how long these take, the illegal one took a bit over 20 minutes and the legal one took about 30 minutes. So this isn't too different from how long deliveries used to take, but there's a few changes in this update that makes it a lot worse than how it used to be. First of all, the pay on these missions is pretty bad. So even though in this most recent patch to 3.10 they doubled the pay for the legal deliveries, they still only pay 8,000 credits. The illegal ones haven't been touched and they pay 6,000 credits. That's not that much for delivering three packages on the legal side and for making at least three stops on the illegal side. Also, the mission description for the illegal mission says you can get bonuses, but I'm not sure what these are and how you would get them, because I never got them in my time doing these missions. In addition to these poor payouts, since these missions involve multiple packages or multiple stops, you can't really chain them effectively like you used to. Previously, this ability to chain these missions by planning out a good route added depth to the delivery gameplay, because you could look at all the contracts and figure out an efficient route before you started off and then you could pick up and drop off packages as you went. And you could make quite a few credits by taking as many packages as you could carry or could find missions for. Even the illegal ones had opportunities to be stacked in this way, in addition to just having a higher payout than the current ones. To add to the issues plaguing these new missions, you only get paid at the end, which makes them harder than ever to complete, especially with some of the bugs going on right now. I tried to do the legal ones multiple times before I was successful because of things like boxes not being there, not being accepted, or just entire outposts not spawning. The fact that in the case of legal missions you have to either take three packages to separate locations or pick up three packages from different locations and deliver them to one location before you get paid anything at all can make these missions very frustrating for the new players who are likely to be doing them. With so many stops the chances of something going wrong before you get paid are just so high. With that being said, I think the purpose of these missions is to get some focused testing done on more complex delivery missions, which could be good for the future. I hope to see some high paying longer distance deliveries return in some of the future updates, and maybe some different types where you have to deliver things in a certain amount of time. Also, these current missions would be greatly improved if they paid more and paid you as you did them, which could help out when you inevitably encounter some issues so that you don't end up with nothing. Also, I would have liked for at least some of the old missions to stick around for this patch though, because right now there's no reason to do deliveries if you want to make money. This is especially the case since everyone has a loner freelancer right now, which means that you can do any sort of combat mission you want to. If you want to just do some deliveries for fun, then go ahead, but if you want to earn credits, you'd be better off doing pretty much anything else. Deliveries have effectively been removed for this patch. So yeah, overall I would not recommend doing these new delivery missions in this patch unless you just want to try them out for fun. But there's definitely potential for these missions with a few more tweaks, and for some better missions to be added in the future. I know this video might seem a bit negative, but CIG is definitely doing a lot of good stuff right now too, and I really appreciate the recent patch where they put in the extra effort to restore everyone's in-game purchase ships. I was very happy to see both of my 600 eyes return. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.